And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. Hooray! Oh, yeah, it <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing, really. Just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh. Blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. <laughs> Gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben. And thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum, you look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no. I've learnt it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Sorry, Gaston. Or ladybirds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No, magic is much better. Abracazobadu. <laughs> oh, I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. <laughs> Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. Nanny Plum, come quick! I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good! You've been practicing your magic. No, no, it was an accident. 
accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Look! Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zig, zag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Look, smelly way. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. <laughs> uh, why isn't he eating it then? Gaston says it's too cold. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Mm. Have a little taste if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. It's such fun having Gaston visit us. Can he stay with us forever and ever, Daddy? Uh, maybe not forever. But he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! And the weather in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle! Gaston's getting better! Wow, splendid! And the pixie pound has seen a drop um, to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, this program is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. 
Charlie. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elter snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny, you said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha ha ha. <laughs> What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. He doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> your Majesty, thank you so much for your help. Oh, that's all right. I must say, you are looking most handsome today, Your Majesty. May I take your photograph? Of course. <laughs> uh, um, Your Majesty? Not now, Nanny Plum. I'm having my picture taken. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, oh, stinky elf cheese! Wow! It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C. Neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Woo! Look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says, Little star, we ask you to make our wishes all come true. Oh. It's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. oh, I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But, Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We could ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. Hello. Hello. My goodness. Mum, dad, are you astrophysicists? No. Oh, we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. 
Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course. The tomato. Mmm! Delicious! Now for pudding. The strawberry. Mmm! Scrumptious! Yum, yum! They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! Hooray! So, where's the trophy? <laughs> Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Bye. Hmm, that was delicious. Now I'd like a little nap. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's no time for that. But I'm tired, Nanny. You must make another speech at the Festival of Elf and Fairy Dancing. Oh, I don't know anything about dancing. How can I make a speech about it? Daddy, I can do a speech. I've been watching you do it all day. Excellent. You can make the speech, Holly. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Look, Mr. Elf has bought the musical instrument. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr. Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please. Hmm. I do know a spell for magic jelly. <gasps> no, not magic jelly! Right, too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong. Silly Ben, spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles. I love making sandcastles. Hmm, what's a spell for sandcastles? Holly, you don't need a spell to make sandcastles. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a lot. Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah, we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Stop! 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 
you. That's better. Oh, ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! Oh, goodness me! <sighs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. Hooray! <laughs> well, well done, done ben. ben! You see? I told you, no one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadoo, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben... Aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben Elf! <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked. Come on. <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da. There's Nanny. Ben, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I bother. My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes. Elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> yes, Mum. Play fair and no flying or anything. 
No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben said no flying, but he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? No, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abracadibbly dibble, make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh. How did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. Let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad. <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy! You shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty... Long hair really does sue you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? too? Of course you can. The more the merrier. <laughs> Uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff. With all your might! Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There! What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster! You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing! Did you do that, Nanny? 
Granny. Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your lives. Too fast. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instrument sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr. Elf. Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew! For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. It worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny! 
Where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. Our magic one. Sing, sang, singy, soy. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> 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 Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls... Take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> mm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Gnome. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So... When will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, Your Royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Oh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. <laughs> this crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun. Oh, OK. What do I do? Just hit the ball through the little windmill and into the hole. <laughs> That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? <sighs> Breakfast's ready, Holly. Thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's 
Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. Uh, and here's your crown. All done. Uh. Mornings are such hard work. Uh. Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> One. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic then a hat. Oh. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. Ugh, smelly. That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. 
Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny, tiny, gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> ah! Nanny Plum, quick. Give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. <coughs> ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, um... Hmm. We can make magic clothes. Nanny, can you do that? If you insist, Queen Thistle, but magic clothes can be a bit tricky. Hello, anyone there? They're here! Oh, just make the magic clothes, Nanny. I'll go and see you to our guests. As you wish, Your Majesty. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Carrots! We've already eaten. Mrs Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch... If we don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore, then? Oh, no. I just... Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That! Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? No. I'll just have to do the magic myself. 
Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> Hurry up! I haven't got all day. Right! You naughty paintbrushes! I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam! Pop! Zip! Pow! More! Bigger! Faster! Now! <laughs> There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Nanny! Help! Help! Goodness me! Nanny! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow! Magic spell, away you go! Nanny, you stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. Oof. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> that to happen? We need to rescue her! I could do another spell! No, no! I've got a better idea! <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa! Steady, Betty! Whoa, whoa! <gasps> That's better! Brilliant! <laughs> Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a Tooth Fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah! Windows! Where did that come from? 
on. Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. <gasps> Her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on the bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. to cheer you up. We don't like it when you're sad. Thank We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. <coughs> What's he saying, Nanny? <coughs> Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. <coughs> Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <coughs> Well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> wondy, wondy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, Nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more! Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Porridge ah! 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 Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge. Thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. <laughs> I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More, more! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang. 
that's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Is Mummy your wand? <laughs> Friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy... It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy... 